Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Pinch hitting for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi, here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Wednesday, October 7, 2014. Let's get right to it. We all know the Arnold Classic is the biggest sports weekend in Columbus, Ohio. Arnold Schwarzenegger has been immortalized for his contribution to the sport and city with a brand new bronze statue of the Austrian Oak hitting his signature three-quarter back shot. After this statue was unveiled, an emotional Arnold took to the podium to address the crowd where he said, This statue isn't just about physical strength, it is a reminder to always have a strong mind, to do as Apple says and think different. After a rousing ovation from a large, adoring crowd, Arnold added, The Arnold Sports Festival is in Columbus to stay. After a successful year that included two top five finishes at the Arnold Classic and the Olympia, Miriam Capes has decided to shut it down for the rest of 2014. The dynamic Canadian-born fitness pro has one of the best physiques in the entire fitness division and the steady improvements she's made to both her physique and her routine over the last few years have catapulted her to the front of the conversation when talking about potential threats to take over the newly crowned Miss Olympia Oksana Grishina. Cape says she plans to take the next few weeks off and enjoy some time with family before turning up the knob on her intensity as she begins to prepare for the 2015 Oral Classic, which is set to take place at the end of February. She says, I quote, this will be a big year for me, I guarantee you. Although the Olympia may not have gone quite as well as he expected, Matt Krishner apparently has his sights set big in 2015. After a disappointing 16th place finish at his debut Olympia appearance, Krishner appears to be in good spirits and rebounded nicely as evidenced by some fun he had at a recent photo shoot with a 2012 Junior USA winner shows off his Olympia caliber guns posing in SWAT gear. After building up some momentum heading into the show with two top five finishes, including the Europa in Dallas, just a few weeks before stepping onto the Olympia stage, Krishner didn't bring the necessary level of conditioning to make himself a contender in Vegas. However, with three pro wins already under his belt, we expect Krishner to come back even stronger in 2015. After over a decade on the IFBB circuit, Johnny Jackson has earned the reputation as one of the hardest training men in bodybuilding. The Texas native is well known for being one of the strongest bodybuilders in the history of the sport and his gut-wrenching, brutal training sessions with his longtime training partner Branch Warren have become the stuff of legend. But if there's one thing that's haunted JOJ throughout his career, it's the fact that his legs have come close to matching up with this tremendous upper body. In a video he recently released, JOJ takes us through a torturous leg workout at Metroflex Gym and gives us some insight on his new training techniques that he's using to attempt to finally bring some balance to a physique that's been top heavy for his entire career. At 40 years old, I'm sure if Jackson's body is capable of growing a body part that's been stubborn for decades, but, as the Blade Dexter Jackson has proved to us with his win in Dubai, age ain't nothing but a number. IFBB Pro and Species Nutrition Athlete Ryan Pataraki has announced that he plans to make his pro debut in eight weeks when he steps on stage at the Farrago Legacy Classic. At nearly 280 pounds, the 2013 NPC National Super Heavyweight Champ has been packing on some serious size since we last saw him on stage. Pataraki is known for having some of the craziest quads in bodybuilding, and if he's managed to add some size to his upper body to balance out a thick, dense physique that oozes muscle maturity, we could potentially see Ryan sneak into the show and earn himself a top 10 finish. For full quotes and Muscle in the Morning bonus features, join the Muscle in the Morning official Facebook page. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi reminding you to keep it locked to the 24-7 RX television on rxmuscle.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.